and here's the after result. Um, they're all clean and actually lubed up with some uh, um, uh, uh, bone speed cream. Um, notice that one actually looks like it's dirty, but um, that's actually just a uh, actually a mark that went around the uh, shell. Just on one side. But uh, yeah, I just uh, threw this into. I, I ran through all these in, in a in a wheel just to test it because I actually don't need these right now. Um, but they pretty much run uh, on par with the uh, Swiss sixes I just bought. Um, these were pretty good bearings when I got them. I, I really don't know what brand or anything about these. Uh, I believe there's something that's ABEC 5, but I purchased these so long ago with uh, my hockey blades. If you're wondering why there's a corn holder there, I was looking at different things that had pointy ends, and that we we're apparently missing the other one, so I grabbed it and a bunch of... Uh, Paper clips and uh, say or not paper clips safety pins to um, get the C clip off of these. They're all actually uh, held in with C clips, so pretty good job. Uh, this is pretty much my first time ever cleaning bearings, um, and I think it actually went pretty well. And hopefully, I don't have to do it at the same time soon because this did took take the better part of the last uh, I'd say hour hour and a half to clean uh, remove them all, clean them all and um, lube them pretty big pretty big process to clean them dry them and everything oh also after I uh, after I dried them it's gonna sound weird but I ran them under you know regular water to actually um, uh, what is it to clean off the simple green because the simple green kind of leaves a sticky residue um, so I just, you know, rinsed it through there, spun it a couple times just to get the, get the stuff out and I pulled it out and dried it immediately. Um, you, you should not have, worry about any rust issues as long as you clean and dry them immediately and lube them after because the lubricant acts as a, um, rust inhibitor. So hope you all enjoyed. Thank you.